Hey everyone, Sam here with a really quick tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Quick, but awesome. Let me tell you, I'm sorry there are a lot of fireworks going off in the background. It is bonfire night in England, and there's a lot of fireworks going off. But just ignore them, because this is a cloning tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Um, if you don't have Adobe After Effects, oh, these fireworks. If you don't have Adobe After Effects, then you can do it in Sony Vegas, which I've also made a tutorial for, so that should be on a link um, on this video now somewhere. There'll be a link. Click it if you don't have After Effects but you have Sony Vegas. Um, if you have both, then I suggest using Adobe After Effects because it's common sensely known that After Effects is going to be a better software. So stay on this one if you have got After Effects. Okay, so um, I've got two clips of myself, one here and one here. The one you can see now is obviously the one here. And what I want to do is clone myself. So how am I going to clone myself? Um, it's very simple. But before we do it, I'm going to give you some techniques whilst you're filming it. Film it somewhere where the lighting isn't going to change too much. I had um, a light, a lamp facing me, and also I had um, the camera not moving. Uh, I filmed it in one long clip. I've just cut it down now. Why not? Don't you move the camera? Well, um. If you're going to move the camera, then it's just going to make the effects seem um, more wobbly, not as realistic, if you understand what I mean. It's just going to make the effect of the... Uh, of your, It's going to change the effect. You'll understand more in a minute as I go through it. So I've now got one on top of the other. Very important, put them on top of each other. Okay, so once you've got your two clips the same length, again, important. Important. Blah. Okay. Now what we're going to do is click G, or you can go up here and click the pen tool. And I'm going to create a mask around myself here. So I just go around myself, and remember there's one underneath, and by creating a mask around this guy, it's going to bring up the ma uh, the rest of it, it's going to be the mask around, um, it's going to bring up the other guy there. So as you can see, he's there. Um, so we now, um, oops, get rid of that last one. We now have two different people. Um, well, it's the same person, but they're cloned. Okay. Um, there are a few. That is basically it. First of all, um, you have now cloned yourself. But there are a few more things that you can do to make it look more realistic. Like if you look, this side's a bit darker than this side. You know, you can add colour correction. Uh, I'll just do it now. I'll put effect. You, um, I'm going to go in this one. You can see where the line is. I'm going to go uh, effect. I'm on the bottom one here, which is lighter. Effect, uh, colour correction. And we'll just put hue, saturation in. Effect, colour correction and curves. Find curves there. And maybe bring the saturation down to about minus 12, it's not going to make a lot of difference but it's going to make some difference and bring it down a bit up okay so I've just messed around with it for a bit and I'm just getting it to be about the right level um, and then it should you can still see the line a bit, I'm not going to go into do it too much but um, it is uh, just messing with the colour correction can just make it look a bit more effective so now we have your little film of two people that are cloned. Very easy tutorial. Um, there are more tutorials coming up for uh, Macromedia Flash as well as some more tutorials for Vegas and After Effects. Check out the channel for all those tutorials. Thanks for watching this one. Got any tutorials that you want, send me a message on YouTube or send it to our email which will be on our channel page. Go look at the channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.